Well, thank you very much for staying with us. We're back on the AM show, serving you the news review. And guess who joins me? Samuel Mbura of our political desk. Man of many things, always on the beat, delivering stellar performances. You know how we do it, to ensure that you're always informed. Well, right before we get into the papers, this segment is always brought to you by Endpoint Homeopathic Clinic. They're offering you, if you're a man, Mephindiagro, your prostate. Check it out. When was the last time you got a screening? Mine was last year. I've been a bit recalcitrant, but I'll do it before the year ends. How about you? If you're a woman, do you know what your fertility status is? We take things for granted. We're eating different kinds of stuff. We don't know what is going on there. I mean, it's like breast cancer month. You want to check out your breasts for any lumps and stuff like that. How about your fertility? Do you know? That is why I am encouraging you this morning to go to Endpoint Homeopathic Clinic. What are they offering? Free prostate screening, free female fertility screening. All you need to do is locate them at any of their branches. Here in Accra, they're at Spintex, opposite the Shell signboard. In Kumase, Kronum here, behind the Angel Educational Complex. There's Takradi Anaji State, Temma, Community 22, Techiman Hanso, and Siaman Zama. Their call lines, 0244-867-0244. 234-321. End point homeopathic clinic, the end to chronic disease. But while we proffer for you the good things, and here, look at the mechanisms we go through, so many of them to ensure that any product we're talking about here has gone through the FDA checks and everything in between. It's a properly registered business and all of that. There are some nefarious characters on social media using my face, the faces of other prominent broadcast journalists for very negative things. Uh, just this morning, right before I came back into the studio, a certain bishop accosted me again and said, oh, I've seen talk of this uh, medicine for hypertension, diabetes, and all of that. Is that from you guys? I've had so many people, prominent, uh, whatever, reach out to me talking about this. So, I want to put this out there. This is the official statement we've put out, apart from calling on Facebook to take this down. And as you can see, scam alert, the attention of Joy News has been drawn to fake infomercials circulating on social media that bear its logo. These infomercials use deep fake technology, you can read about that, to mimic the voices of some of our presenters and anchors and make various claims about the efficacy of certain medicines. Joy News has been reporting each of such misrepresentations to Facebook for the necessary actions to be taken. We wish to inform our valued audience that these infomercials are not from our platforms and should be disregarded. Thank you. So please, you see something and they are promising with a please check, double check, triple check, quadruple check, quintuple check if you'd like, because you're going to put something into your system. Look, Samuel Mbura, let me come into the studio. Uh, these people may not even send you anything when you pay, when you make a payment, you get it. These are fraudsters. They may not even send you anything. Exactly. Or they may end up sending you something that could actually be poisonous. So, please, let's all stay safe. So, they're, they're looking there. for people with integrity to yes. champion their, their agenda. And that's yes. why the likes of you and some of our colleagues are being used in that AI mimicking I mean, video just to um, confuse or convince people that, look, we have endorsed it or it's coming from joining you. So, yeah. like, Ben is saying you have to do all the necessary checks. If in doubt, just cross-check, double-check, and do the right thing before you go and consume anything that is dangerous to yourself and end up blaming others for it. So I think the disclaimer has put everything to rest, and people will be on the lookout in social media. Hopefully, because some people, I mean, may not have seen this. Some people may, but hopefully we'll all spread the word to our, our neighbors, brothers, and sisters. But this isn't the first. The yeah. first I remember was this financial product. Yeah. Again, fraud. Kind of like the fraudsters who will call you yeah. investment scams. Yeah. And they were using uh, uh, images as well. The world is, you see, while AI and deep fake, I mean, AI, less restricted AI, AI tools are, and are, are good and all of that, there's also always the negative side. And these are some of them popping up. Anyway, so it's, it's been an interesting week, Samuel Mbura. Exactly. So many things from the Akosombo Dam spillage, which is still continuing. And that simply breaks my heart. It breaks very, my heart. Very to the comments of the president, to oh. <laughs> the OSP and Cecilia Dapa, to 
everything else that has happened in between. I don't know. Is there anything? I mean, that's, my, that's my, my main concern for the week has to do with the Akusombo spillage. And I've been wondering, didn't we anticipate this? It is not only in the Volta region. Is the communities along the Volta Basin are, are affected? Those in the Pro East, you know, from the Makango area and all, are also, I mean, affected. Our concentration now is in the Volta region because houses or communities have submerged. But if you look at the wider picture, it is more or less a nationwide wreckage of this, this flood. And I've been reading a lot about it, and some of us who are so much concerned about the environment, I mean, should be concerned about this whole situation. What are some of the emergency or the contingency measures I've always put in place by VRA, the stakeholders who are involved? Now, I understand they are going to do some simulation exercise. That's what VRA says. Is it the case that they have not been given regular alerts? Let me just use Sonabel, for example. Sonabel is the operators of the Bagri Dam Day in Burkina Faso. Yeah. Anytime they are going to spill the dam, they give alerts, like a month for preparedness. They alert the Ghanaian authorities, the security agencies, then they'll start sensitizing the people that this is what we're going to do. Those living along the lowlands should go to the highlands, uh, don't go to farms, and then prepare to evacuate and all that. Has that been the case in the uh, spillage of the Akusombo Dam? These are some of the questions we need to answer. Uh, what are the long-term measures to curb this issue of flooding and affecting people around these areas? Is it the case that we are not collaborating with the international communities? Togo and Burkina Faso are there. Our water bodies run into theirs. So what is the international... And, and we, are polluting, we are polluting exactly. the Ivorians, for example, exactly. what is have our, had cause to What is know, our transboundary agenda or collaboration with the Ivorians or the um, Cote d'Ivoire and then Togo right. or Burkina Faso, so that at least this spilled water can also spill into the, I mean, move to the other side and then they can use it for other beneficial purposes, other than wasting the water away. Look, the environmental factors are also there. The wetland areas, what are the infrastructure we are putting in place to improve it? Now, we know that most of our trees have been cut down and then a whole lot of devastation mm. and all that. And this is a clear mm. indication that, look, if you don't protect the environment, one day the water will come and consume us. It will come and consume us, and that is nature paying us back. Just like we are seeing. I mean, what you our... put into nature is what it will exactly. give back to you. What are we doing to dredge? <laughs> like the... our bodies. Exactly. Our bodies are emulating. What, what, are know, what, are what are we doing to dredge the tributaries? I mean, other uh, connections to the dam. So at least it will ease this pressure. Are, are they telling us that there was no any way they could have redirected this water, or there was no any contingency plan that, okay, in case our reservoirs are overflowing or it reaches a point whereby our reservoirs cannot contain the water, we spill the water. This is the direction that it will take. Going downstream, the impact will not be huge as we are still seeing now. Now, all manner of funds have been put together to assuage the situation. The last time the Agric Minister said they are going to commit $40 million to hmm. restore the farmlands <clears throat> in the Volta Basin, those from the Volta region, Eastern region, and to the Bono area. So, Instead of using these monies for other national activities, we see how we are now running Helter Skelter to put in place all these measures. And I think watching the videos, I'm really devastated how people have lost their livelihoods, they've lost their homes. I can imagine the reflection if these people go back after these um, floods recede, whether they'll be able, able to go back home and sleep in peace. Look, some of the houses, in terms of engineering-wise, they are not safe for them. To stay, no, no, to stay the, inside. The, the point is, the a lot of these of the houses yeah. now are death traps. Exactly. They, when the, when the waters the, recede, yeah. recede the, the structural integrity of these buildings exactly. would have been compromised. Okay? For most of them, looking at even the soil see, type the, the there, houses even looking submerged. at so, houses submerged, yeah. I mean, it, it will be like waiting for disaster to yeah. happen. So it, it would almost be impossible for them to relocate. What do they do? What do they do now? Now Where they, do they go? Yeah, proposal that you send them to Saglemi Housing. housing. Projects. And, and we've also and left that to, to, to rot. rot. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just imagining what we are going to do. Is it a normal talk? A reason I'm much concerned about this interministerial committee, like mm -hmm. what's their job? Ben, I'm confused. You're going to do facts check and make recommendation? Or what exactly are you going to do? No, you know, we are always oh. a reactionary people, a, a reactionary misleadership. We wait for things to happen and then we'll be running around like headless chickens, yeah. wondering what the next step is. Look at NADMO. Yeah. Let's start from NADMO. 
we woefully under-resource them. Yes, you can give NADMO its own bashing, but we woefully under-resource them. How do you expect them to do anything when these things happen? Those are people's plots of land. Yeah. Those are developments that are started. Look, yeah. that, is someone's, that, that is someone's development yeah. there. Now, now this, this, it will not be fit for purpose in any way. You see some of those with thatch structures, yeah. mud structures those as well. Right. As for those ones, they're already gone. Yeah. The road, road network there is completely destroyed. And, yeah. and even when the waters recede, recede you'll be looking at um, health issues, the water, yeah. stagnant. For this law. They have to re-engineer the whole, the whole place. Look, look at, the, right look at the swathes of land. Yeah. Look at that. Look at even buildings with High -rise some... Buildings. Exactly. Look yeah. at them. You know? It's, it's, it's really pathetic. I'm, I'm I suppose imagining... this is a school. Yeah. This that, looks that, like that, a school. That, that's a school. That's a school. So what, what it means is that the water in the area automatically is contaminated. We don't know how long exactly. it will take out to flush the debts yes. from the pipelines. Yes. So what is our plan? And, and then, you know, there are so many questions to ask because we know that these dam spillages will take place anyway. So why do we get like this? The other curious thing, which makes you wonder, the Akosumbo Dam, yeah. from time to time, runs dry. Yeah. Not dry as in there's and no water, water at all, but the water levels go down. So we have no mechanism in place to store this water. So that maybe when the water recedes at certain times of the year, you can flush in some water. We are saying we can't think around a solution like that. The engineers at VRA, government itself, and we have to wait till something like this happens. So after quite and then we go there and Mr. President will be talking about votes instead of commiserating. That, that's why I've been asking the question. So after Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, there's no precedent that thought beyond what Kwame Nkrumah did. So say, let me go downstream, construct maybe another reservoir there to store the water in case we are running dry, we can't get to. But Charlie, we have left it as it is after Kwame Nkrumah did this. That ended the story. Look, there are even some places where, you know, along the water lake, the stumps, yeah. the stumps, some of them have to be removed because they are a hazard yeah. to those who fish, those who ply that. I mean, we've had some incidents where if you look into them, some of these stumps, and you can't see them, and some go very deep and very high. You may not see them, but you get entangled in them and you are in a mess. All of those are there. They are also waiting disasters. We are going to sit down, fold our arms, let the disaster happen. happen. Then we'll, the talk shop, oh, and this and that. Do you remember those incidents where some of our children were drowning? Yeah. While crossing to school, school in canoes and, and the rest. Yeah. Go to some of the places that we spoke oh, about. And, and a bridge will be put up. Nothing and this changed. and life jackets. Yeah. Go there today. We are waiting for another disaster. And then the talk shop will start. Nothing has changed. It's actually a shame to see mm. this on our screens. And I think that... It is not only, I mean, we have to hold all those who are responsible accountable. If not, we'll continue to talk, we'll continue to report, and the situation wouldn't change. I, I am really sad about the situation. My heart goes out for the people along the Volta Basin, not just in the Volta region. This devastation is unimaginable. I can hey, imagine I the mean. flashbacks, the reflection after this water recedes. Whether if I go back to my community, I'll be able to... Sleep with my eyes closed. I mean, this, this is like any person's, yeah. one of probably their worst nightmares. Look at that. Look at that. So school has oh. come to a halt in this area. No commercial activity. You're talking of school. Everything. Everything Life has, has, I mean, they are living, but right now it will basically be like subsisting because you're not really living out what your potential is. But let's get into the papers and... Um, we highlight these issues because uh, it's someone today. It will be. It could be you tomorrow. We have to this do actually, better. This as is a actually country. a national crisis. It's not only it's it's it's, it's 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 let's, a let's take note. It's a it's big a national issue. issue, and that's why some people are calling for a state of emergency. I I think that we should look at that critically. I think it fits. It fits the bill. And everything. It fits really. the bill. Yeah. I have the Daily Graphic and the Daily Statesman this morning. What do you have? I have Daily Guide and the Finder newspaper. Let's start from your end. All right, so uh, daily guys, uh, obviously we have the dam spillage. All stakeholders engaged in simulation exercises coming from VRA. We've already dealt with that National Youth Authority boards held over youth resource centers. The big story on the daily guide, you know, the 2.37 million euro ambulance case. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The you former, mean the Cassia Lato Yeah, yeah. So Seth Tekpe, the former finance minister, said, I gave Ato Forcing the go-ahead. Oh, uh, so okay. that's what he's um, testifying 
uh, be, before... Uh, because you know there was a time when they wanted him to come and exactly, know, testify. testify. And I think they, so he's done that. Yeah, exactly. So the former finance minister, um, Setekwe, has said he personally authorized his um, then deputy, Dr. Keso Atuforsin, to ask Bank of Ghana to set up letters of credit for Big C General Trading Limited of Dubai for the supply of 30 ambulances. So uh, Mr. Tequest, um, the star witness, is actually a star witness uh, for the defense team in the $2.73 million euro ambulance case uh, brought against the minority leader and two others told an Accra High Court Economic and Financial Division that the request for the establishment of the letters of credit was made at a special management meeting he presided over at the finance ministry. So it was not a unilateral decision by the minority leader right. um, to uh, issue these uh, letters and all that. So that's what it... Th th this is an interesting twist because we've seen so many matters come to the fore. Yeah. I think even Alex Segbefia, yeah. the health minister at the time, was also roped in and this and that. But I guess that brings some perspective, yeah, perspective to, to what to happened. Direction of the uh, court here. So uh, the other big story to the political uh, center has to do with MPP, not tribalistic. It's coming from Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, vice president. He was in the Upper West Region, specifically uh, in Tumu. Mm. And then he tried to demystify this myth that the um, MPP is an account party. He gave a history of how the Northerners have always been part. You know, his father, um, the, the late um, Mumuni Baumia, played a critical role in forming the Northern People's Party. Yeah. And, I mean, um, he's using that one to accentuate the fact. But that in itself was very problematic because <laughs> that was why it, it brought to bear in our constitutional life yeah. talk about not founding parties or forming parties based on tribal based on, tribal Because that was a very, you know, it was a dangerous path to, exactly. to tread. So he had demystified that myth that the MPP is a tribalistic party and then he's urging the delegates that... I mean, he's obviously the right person to lead the party, so they should give him the money. He's not campaigning based on tribal lines. Okay, it is the time for the Dumbo. No, but the fact that he's... But that has been said, hasn't it? <laughs> I mean, It's time for the Dumbo tradition <laughs> to do something. <laughs> to to anyway. do something. Okay, so Katie Hammond floors the equation over contempt case. Uh, it is in page six of the uh, Daily Guide. And interestingly... The hero. Yeah, uh, our man, the Trace <laughs> Minister. <laughs> a fantastic man there. Then there's a latest story... Um, from sports having to do with the Akosombo uh, spillage. Use AFCON budget to support Akosombo victims. You so, do you agree with that? AFCON? The, uh, AFCON budget to support... Ah, those who are saying that, look, we're spending... Look, yeah. th there's... Look there's, at the performance of the Black Stars. There's a serious... So let me look at two things. There's a serious conversation going on, apart from the Saglemi, yeah. you know, proposal. Two key conversations going on in terms of COVID-19 money, yeah. for example. You can divert it to... Apart school. from the Ghana AIDS Commission, which is bleeding. I had their director here, Dr. Etri yeah. here yesterday. We can pump some of these funds. I mean, why are they even still charging us for COVID-19? Yeah. The levy. Yeah. What are they using the money That's for? Yeah. What is the money being used We are done for? with COVID, right? The Ghana AIDS Commission, we are seeing an uptick in numbers. So many people are now going for the ARTs, the antiretroviral you know, treatments, drugs, and all of that. Why don't we channel them? And in this instance, why can't we channel part of it to give relief to the people? And, and again, look, I always say that sports must deliver. Yeah. Chris Hewton's job is now on the line since you brought in the, the soccer or the football. Mm -hmm. The Black Stars are woefully underperforming. Oh, I saw, yeah. I mean, their last performance was so underwhelming. Yeah, you Losing 2-0 to Mexico and then 4-0 to the U.S. We have a history with the United States. That was embarrassing. <laughs> And uh, if we had I, I don't know, a, but a, single, a single goal, that would have been pardonable. But four goals. Four goals. My old boy four called unanswered goals. <laughs> my old boy called to tell me that he, he spent the whole night waiting to watch the match. You know, it was around 12 a.m. Then when he they scored us two goals, he was like, ah. So these players, meaning there was no single person taken all the way from Ghana to play. So the spirit of the Black Stars wasn't behind their reason. That is his deduction. A reason they lost ah. hopefully like that. And he was so angry about the whole situation. But, but, but I think, honestly... We are really not doing well. It's high time we had a conversation as a people on our investments in, sports. into sports and what we get out of it. Boxing, for example, for decades, from the days of DK Poison to Azuma Nelson to Ike Bazooka Quarte to yeah. all of these, the Clotes and the uh, Dugbeys and all of that, it has served us so well. But sometimes you get into boxing and you look at the commitment, the levels of commitment. The last time, this gentleman who won a medal in the last Olympics, the bronze medal, okay. and 
received promises from the president about $20,000 scholarship and all of that. Recently, he said he wouldn't join the team because those promises had not been fulfilled. Oh. I've, had, I've heard of sprinters. You remember, is it Ignatius Geyser or is it Geyser? And then there was another lady, I think a, a jumper, one of those triple... Yeah, the lesser known sports double. and activities. They've not actually given Some up. Some of these people will even tell you that when they get injuries, yeah. the only thing they'll get from our sporting people is... Oh, oh, be well, and, and, and maybe we'll do something, and they never do. For motivation and inspirational speeches. They never do it. Someone tears the Achilles or something, or, or some other, and you don't want them to, you, you don't do anything for them. Yeah. But you expect that when they are fit, they'll come and serve the country. That was what happened to some of our so athletes. Sad. We are not pumping money into them. We are pumping so much into football. It's okay. Yeah. Football is the, it's like the face. I remember being in Cuba and, you know, people were telling me about Michael Essien and Asamuajan and stuff like that. It's good. That is soft power at play. But if you are not getting it right, you either shape up or ship out. Exactly. Let's, let's pump money into other things that will bring us. Look at the, and, and let me just end. We have been so unfair to our female teams, teams. and players. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Hazakes ladies also, they went to the AFCON thing. First time. They placed second among all the teams. CAF decided not to give them the anything. Yeah. I feel our government, the sports ministry, could have done something, yeah. given them something. We don't motivate. And the women, our over the last how many team, yeah. years, 10 years, yeah. have been the ones winning laurels for, for, laurels for us. Yeah. Maybe you take out the 20, whatever. And, and even that is 2010. So it's still out, outside of the 10 years. Yeah. So the last story from me on the center spread, uh, spread of the Daily Guide has to do with one man who has been warming our screens, Mr. Ibo. He's facing oh. possible leg amputation and begging for support. Such a sad incident. I watched oh, it. Wow. Years. He's begging for support. Yeah. Financial support? Financial support. Because we know he's, he's yeah, pretty yeah. well to that, do. That's the situation on the, on, the, on the grounds now. So uh, in, a, in a viral video on social media, he pleaded for support uh, from his uh, fans uh, because the situation is getting worse by day. I know the Nigerian hmm. Actors Guild is also right. contributing. In oh, the video as well. God bless their hearts. Uh, we, well, what we can say is that may his creator heal him. Yeah. And we wish him the very yeah. best. Yeah. You, you, from time to time, I mean, I'm, I'm not a big fan of some of the local industries when it comes to, because I see too much on negative things, witchcraft and, uh, and plots that you can see the end of from end the of beginning. Exactly. I, I don't like such. But I these think guys, you know, these the, guys the, are... The been... latest movies, you can easily tell what comes. What exactly. Comes but, you know, in their days, I mean, you would be stuck to your... These guys have, have held it down when it comes to comedy. Yeah. Just yesterday, I was watching something from Dave Chappelle the black American, you know, bit. but these people on, on our continent have held it down the same way exactly. the Ejakos and the Lil Wayne's and, uh, and the Mr. Beautifuls and others have, oh, yeah. have done it uh, here. Well, we pray for the very best. Yeah, sure, sure. Let's yeah. look at the daily graphic uh, quickly and then uh, we'll get to other stories. Maximizing agri benefits. President charges youth to form cooperatives and then, uh, well, cooperatives on what land and what areas. Now with everything practically polluted. The land, Galamsey has taken over. Taken over, yeah. You know, I read a story this morning for the news, and do you know that gradually we are unwittingly poisoning ourselves? Yeah. Because the leafy veggies you're getting from different parts of the country, all the products, the food you are putting in fish, you and I over eat. time, yeah. the fish. Yeah. So someone has restricted himself to the muscles because the, eating head, the head of the fish. The bones yeah. and yeah. other parts I have a I friend who likes it. eating the fish head. They, they slap their <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's advised. Hopefully now. it's from yeah. fish farms and, yeah. not, and not maybe from natural sources. Yeah. Arsenic, chromium, cadmium, mercury, lead, among a host of... And imagine eating food over years with these and the concentrations in your body. I, I shudder to say if there were some way of testing every Ghanaian today, to find out what the levels of these things are in us. Yeah. I'm sure many people will see many, that and the I, levels are higher I than I think the, the health ministry consistent. will have to take up that initiative to find out, especially the, the mining areas. And we can pilot um, it extensively at the mining areas, then we'll trim it down or send it. But if, if that is the, the case in, the in 10 of our water bodies, yeah. in 10 of them, and the people of those communities use the water bodies. You don't need to be a rocket. But yeah, we can, we can just sample those enough. communities for that, that mm. research. Then we can come out with a, an, a, I mean, a general outlook mm. on how we can deal with it. Because these chemicals gradually migrate to destroy your yes. nervous system, your, your brain. We've been talking about dialysis yeah. prices. Guess what they do to your kidneys? Yeah. 
guess what they do? Yeah. So we're going to have a lot more people succumbing to kidney, liver-related issues because your body can't process. The, they are not meant to be in there. Yeah, body. yeah. So you sit in Accra and think, oh, oh. that's a, a, a problem for some part of... It is coming to you. In fact, it is with you. And there is um, in Karanza South, food basket and tapped tourism potential. Every day untapped. So when will tap? Only God knows. Lithium mining gets green light. Atlantic Lithium receives first lease. And me, I am just watching this from afar. With, so they have 15 with... years to, to, hmm. to mine this lithium. I, I, I'm, I'm still digging into the percentage that we're coming into the, the cafes of, of government and what these communities will benefit. I'm someone who advocates that communities that we find these natural I mean, resources should be properly equipped. They should be empowered so that you don't go and just take the, um, the resources there and later leave them in poverty. We've seen them in mining communities. Go to the Takwa, go to the see how deplorable their road network is. Go hmm. to the mining communities, uh, go up north, whether upper west, upper east, the mining communities have been deprived, yet we are getting so much from these areas. So at least when you are drafting all these agreements, what percentage goes not to the chiefs alone? We know they have some royalties to pick. But what goes into the ordinary Ghanaian staying there? What are they, aside the fact that you give them immediate employment, we are looking at sustainable uh, livelihood empowerment projects, right. policies that they were embarked on. So what is this particular company bringing on board, aside the fact that the percentage government is getting from the lithium is this? But look at the ordinary people there. Look, the even these percentages, I'll, I'll bring the full details of the story. These, these so percentages think, yeah. are nothing to write home about. Other African countries are doing a lot more, yeah. and some have even said, if you will not give us this, stay in your country, country. and let the resources stay in, stay our, there. in our land. Maybe in future, 10 <laughs> years you know, to come, they will have, we have leaders who have the foresight, who have that clever answer. This right. is what we can do in future right. to help the people. No, if you know that you cannot help the people now, don't rush to sign those deals. Allow someone. Yes, but they'll run. They'll run to sign them because I mean, you know that. that. <laughs> eh, I mean, you know, you know what it is. You know what time it is. Yeah. Anyway, um, so in that story, after six years of exploratory activity, all is set for the mining of lithium to start in commercial quantities with improved terms, so-called improved, <laughs> improved terms. terms. And uh, for the country, this follows the granting of the first ever mining lease for lithium to Bawari DV Ghana Limited, a subsidiary of Australia-based Atlantic Lithium. The $250 million project located at Ewoya in the Mfantiman uh, municipality, I know I murdered that name, mm -hmm. uh, is expected to commence production by 2025. And uh, the minister explained, that is the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, explained that per the mining lease, which was in line with the country's green minerals policy, are you, there had been an increase in royalties rate from the standard 5% to 10%. And this is what we are leaping about. When some about, countries yeah. are doing up to about 50%, of 40%. I will be smiling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we've got 10%. Our, we've got our, our thing done. <laughs> we've done our thing again. Oh. Oh. So sorry. Then I am, Mobo. So, so sorry. Yeah, Mobo. sorry. Yeah. Anyway, Accra Lions out to devour RTU. Which, which local team do you support? Um, I, I, you know, I've always been supporting Kotoko. And, uh, oh, not real Tamale United or any yeah, of yeah, those. You know, I, uh, the, the reason is simple, because I spent much of my time in the... Oh, okay, okay. Business, you know, I used to go with uh, my brother to the stadium. Those days that there was, there was live um, in football, local, local, local matches. Mm -hmm. You know, um, a crowd has to focus playing Kotoko. Those in the magazine area will leave their jobs on Saturday Charlie, 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 Charlie. from the stadium. And, and if then they lose, you don't even get tickets to buy. You and, buy it and if advance. they lose, there will be a lot of loss oh. when it comes to food buying because all the food will go away. <laughs> so, so, so that's <laughs> where the love for Asante uh, Kotoko. And then, you know, they, 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 had that, they, had, they carried that communal spirit. I'm so sad yeah. that it is gradually dwindling. It is dwindling. But Charlie, you've chosen a good team. <laughs> chosen a good team. Please, let's shake hands on sure. Kumasi Asante Kotoko. <laughs> sure, sure. Everything red. Yeah. Remind you to Kumasi Asante Kotoko to come to World Hall. Uh, let's see how it will go. <laughs> <laughs> In your final paper. Okay, so they, they find that uh, government moves to tackle dialysis cost upon Chroma. Mm. You know, the original distribution of dialysis machines or these um, machines for dialysis is actually a, it's in a pathetic situation. Mm. In my own region, last time I had to take the media to advocate. You have to take officials from the regional hospital advocate and understand they have been able to procure some easy calls for framework to regulate social media use during the election. And then the issue about Akosombo Pung Dam, spillage, impact farmers, livelihood companies, and then, and then the lease for the mining of lithium is also uh, captured there. So 
These are the stories making headlines on the Finder this week. When it comes to the Daily Statesman, Ghana Seal's first lithium deal with enhanced royalties increased state participation. There is uh, Veep sympathizers with flood victims. Social media degrading good governance ideals. Foreign minister says so. But I'll just do this one and it's a wrap. Government initiates action on kidney disease treatment. I've already mentioned it. Let me reiterate. The government has commenced discussions with key stakeholders within the healthcare sector to address the critical issue of dialysis costs for renal patients. You know, if it weren't for Joy News with that lady at the demonstration yeah. highlighting this, we wouldn't be talking about yeah. all of this. So again, knee-jerk reaction. Yeah. Wait till the problem... In fact, if we hadn't even blown up the bit about Kolebu and the charges, I'm sure it would have gone you know, under the radar and God knows how many people would suffer. But the dialogue's aim to explore effective measures to alleviate the financial burden on patients in need of dialysis. Yes, yeah. uh, before I take your final words, I saw Elisha Benning. Uh, you say you are watching us live. Uh, Elisha, thank you for watching and God richly bless you. So guess what, uh, Samuel, this morning, if you want to know the title of my blunt thoughts, I would like to know that. Okay. Incompetence and disrespect. How Ghana's misleadership rubs it in. Incompetence and disrespect. How Ghana's misleadership rubs it in. I'll be talking about the president's comments. Before that, it is good. I mean, it is pardonable if you are incompetent. Mm. However, it is unpardonable. To be incompetent and it disrespectful. Is, exactly. uh -huh. So if you are incompetent, we know that fine, you are incompetent. Right. But to extend it to disrespect... We can't accept that. We can't accept that. I'll talk about the president's uh, statements vis-a-vis -vis his oath of office and, and what it says. We'll talk about the de latest de uh, debt restructuring yeah. and where that leaves us. And then I have something, a video I'm going to be sharing with all of you from President Hishilema of Zambia. Okay. And some things he has said vis-a-vis -vis what we do. I'll not let you know exactly what. Stay for it uh, later. But Sam, any final words? Um, I'm in for Infansipim, you know, precise the media. Okay. You know, the media went through yesterday, and then I think that, I mean, why, why? Is it for only one school? They've been Is the to the finals on five consecutive oh. occasions. And, and, and I saw the skit yesterday where some Legon boys, you know, the Prisek Legon boys go yeah. like, oh, Prisek says it serves a living God. Uh, and that living God, or, or daddy. daddy. Or daddy. In other words, <laughs> does he sleep, but it fits the... the I would want my son know, to attend Prisek. I would want my son to attend Prisek in the future, though. Oh, really? I am in for infancy for, him for, for, this, for this competition. So it's the going to time, be Prisek, Legon, yeah. Achimota. Yeah. I, I was rooting for St. Louis. It didn't happen. And then uh, there's Prisek, Legon. So I, I, I'm, I'm all in for infancy for I think Prisek, you should give way for other schools, too. So at least... At least... Get some glory. Uh, but they will not just give way. You must, yeah. you must earn it. So we'll see. I can imagine the reaction from Papani and then uh, George. Oh, there's Opoku Wari. Yeah. There's Opoku Wari. Yeah. There's Achimota. Yeah. And so there are four schools. There's, there's Prisek. Okay. Yeah. So, no, it's, it's just these three. Three schools. Okay. Yeah. Because I think Prisek was in the same group with um, uh, Keta SHTS. And then Opoku and then Wari. Um, no. Yeah, yesterday, okay, yeah, we can. Uh, I think it was Infanta Pim, brother. Okay, so Opoku Wari won against, uh, what do you call it, uh, Prempe and then um, Keta, right? Uh, oh, I it was that, it rather uh, Opoku Wari. I think so. You're yeah. right. Yeah. You're right. So they won there. So now we have those schools getting into the finals. And you say you are rooting for? Infanta Pim. Okay. Well, Infanta Pim is out all. It's out, really? Because it's Owas, Achimota, and Prisek. <laughs> unfortunate, I didn't follow that game. Owas, I see. Achimota, Oh, then that's rather unfortunate. Then if, uh, so if the team if that, are rooting for it then, already. Then, then, then if the first <laughs> is out, then I'd rather go for Owas because of the Kumasi route. Okay. Uh, I will go for Owas. Hey. <laughs> you are being very root centered <laughs> this morning. Anyway, thank you so much for yeah. joining the conversation. I'm grateful, my brother. I'm grateful. So we wrap the conversation with not fake news, mm. nothing AI, yeah. and Point Homeopathic Clinic, guaranteed. We've checked them out, and they're offering you free prostate screening, free female fertility screening. Well, just check them out at any of their branches. You can locate them here in Accra, Pentex opposite the Shell Sign Board, Kumase, Krono Mabwehia, behind the Angel Educational Complex. In Takrade, they can be located at the Anaji Estates in Tema, Community 22, Techi Manhanswa, and Esiama and Zama. Pick up your phone. Save these numbers. Give them a call later in the day. 0244-867-068 or 
0274-234-321. Endpoint Homeopathic Clinic, the end to chronic disease. And um, we're heading into sports now. Prime take with Muftal Nabila Abdullah. Don't you forget, right after that, I share with you my blunt thoughts for the day. But for now, Prime Take, up next on The AM Show.